went ahead and tried to remove the other variator and it gave me a ton of trouble. It was extremely stubborn. I tried this in a vise. I tried with a breaker bar with an extension and it just kept slipping on, you know, the cam kept slipping. Um, and I almost damaged the hell out of the cam. I decided that's not worth it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this, you know, by cutting and see what happens and success. This seems to be the way to go, at least when you get one that's really stubborn. So for any of you guys um, that run into this problem, take the snap ring out of the back of the variator, slide the housing off, and you'll be left with basically this. And you basically just cut all the way up to the base of this. Don't obviously get into the cam or you're really gonna have some problems. Um, but just once you get it thin enough, use a uh, vice grips and just break these pieces off slowly. And then eventually slide this back onto here, right? Slide this back on. Uh, and then you can basically use like the 32 millimeter socket for this or whatever tool if you built one to take this off. And it should come off pretty easy.